Audacious, my name is Sheila Shelton. I'm an area pastor for the east of Manchester along with my husband John. So today it's my privilege to just bring you a few thoughts around my one of my favourite proverbs and it's Proverbs 16 verse 24. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So as I was, I was just thinking, have you ever really wanted to tell someone just exactly what you think of them you know it comes in your head and you just want to say it well or you know kind of come out on top of an argument and get the last word or to join in with some gossip especially if if you think it's a bit juicy or a little bit shocking well sometimes we don't really think about the effect our words can have do we on people because our words are actually very powerful and I know myself when someone said something to me that isn't very nice it really hurts and it really does have an effect so our words can build or destroy it says in James 3 that our tongue needs to be tamed and I know mine does sometimes especially in the car yeah I'm not going to go any further with that I'll just leave that there with you so when we've been unkind or we've been careless with our words, I don't know about you, but it makes me feel bad inside. I, I, it just makes me feel bad. Maybe as bad as the person who I might have offended. So that's why Proverbs 16 verse 24 is really good to remember. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So I just thought I'd tell you a bit of a story about when I was a little girl. And um, what it is, what it was, there used to be a fruit shop that my mum used to send me into. And the people who uh, ran the fr fruit shop, very miserable, very stern, never smiled, never. And um, my mum used to send me in to get things. And I used to take my, my money and I used to buy an apple and the lady had, she'd weigh it, and she'd go, 10 pence. Oh, and I used to go out and I used to think, oh, I don't like those two. I don't like them at all. And I used to go back home and I used to say, well, mum, there they were again, the smiling couple. And my mum used to say, come on now, just, just try and be nice. Anyway, I went in with mum one day, and uh, my mum, bless her, she was just looking at the lady and the lady was grimacing as usual and my mum just said to her oh she said you do look nice today your hair looks beautiful and inside i'm thinking what but when i looked at the lady her face it was like a light had just gone on it was like somebody had given her cash. She was just absolutely glowing. Anyway, when we went outside, I said to my mum, 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 why did you do that? I said, that woman never, ever smiles. And my mum said, that's why. So, it really stuck with me that. And it's been one of the things that I've remembered. And it's so important, isn't it? You know, that verse gracious words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones so how do we keep a watch on our words the bible says out of the overflow of the heart the mouth speaks and i was thinking about it how do i make sure that my overflow is beautiful and pure and kind i need to spend time with jesus I need to spend time with the one who fills my heart with love and truth. And that is Jesus, isn't it? Looking in God's word. Then God's goodness will just overflow. It'll just come out without me even thinking about it. And I'll find myself saying things that are good. Things that build and don't destroy. So as you go about your day... I'm not saying you have to go and tell people that the hair's nice, but let's just think how we can be kind and how we can build people. So I just want to pray for us, if that's okay. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that 
Your words are beautiful and your words build. Help us today, Lord Jesus, as we go about our day to be kind and to love people. Help us to see you as our example. Amen. Oh, guys, I hope that was all right. Um, God bless you. Have a good day.